I, I can't do this with a straight face. Season's greetings from the Queen of Christmas. Do you like my Christmas Queen crown? <laughs> yes, I am not ridiculous. Anyway, happy holidays, you guys. Merry Christmas if you celebrate. Happy whatever else you celebrate. Um, today, I am very excited to share my holiday house tour with you. I filmed this, you know, before we left for Utah to make sure I would have it for Christmas Eve. That's my, like, Christmas Eve treat. Um... I basically show you my whole first level, like I did for the Halloween house tour and the Thanksgiving house tour. Um, and if I'm really ambitious, I'll link those videos below if you missed them and you're curious how I decorated for those times of the year. Um, and then I also show you a little bit in our bedroom. Now, I wanted to do more this year, but I just got swamped. This year has been crazy for me, but I'll talk more about that in another time and place. Um, so I didn't get to do my last planned video in my holiday prep series. It's going to be a gift wrap video, but I just couldn't, I didn't even have the time. Um, I barely had time to wrap the things I had to give. So I've decided I'm just going to save that for next year. I'm going to start a little earlier. I say that every year, but I'm going to hope, try. And I'm going to um, include that in my holiday series next year. So, I'm sorry about that, and next year you'll also see my holiday craft room tour. I didn't get to it this year. I really didn't even get to put up a lot of this stuff in my holiday um, craft room, but, um, except for what you see behind me, basically. Um, but I'll show you, I'll show you next year. So, I'm sorry, you guys, I didn't get to it this year, but I did more than I thought I was going to be able to do, even though I plan to do these other things, too. I don't know, I always think I can do way more than I can. And, um... Right, so without further ado, let's get on with the holiday house tour, and I'll catch you guys at the end. Welcome to my holiday house tour. I'm going to show you guys my first level here during the day, and then I'll come back and show you just the lit parts at night, because they just look better. But again, I'm standing just like in my other house tours. I am standing at my front door. You can see I just wrapped this lit garland around. I couldn't find my little red bows this year. I usually put red bows on the end of the banister, but I couldn't find them. And I have those little baskets that I assembled, I don't know, four or five years ago with crafting supplies from Michael's that just kind of filled the space. And here on my front door knocker is the only place I have one of these Jingle Bell door hangers because they get kind of obnoxious. <laughs> so one door is enough. And then in my entryway, I have a little festive pillow. I have, um, those are gifts for my mail carrier and waste management crew and etc. More little baskets that I assembled a few years ago. And under my chair, of course, the boot trays for when we have guests. So that's how that looks. And I kind of continued wrapping the garland around our little entryway chair. And then, uh, here is our dining room, living room combination. You can see it's all decked out for the holidays. There's our tree, and I'll give you a better look at the tree when it's darker. Um, but this is the one you can see through our front window. It's very lovely. Uh, and then I have a couple of real poinsettias. I like to get a couple each year. Um, these are really pretty. They're um, variegated. I just thought they were really pretty. This is crooked. And I have my little festive red beaded coasters out. And you can see, maybe if you can notice, I swapped out my pillows for winter. These are the ones I'll leave up until spring comes around. These sparkly pillows there. And then these sparkly pillows. And these I got a crate and barrel a long, long, long time ago. Um, of course, I'll put the Santa one away. This is cute. It has jingle bells on it. But I just, those are really pretty and they're sparkly and they kind of remind me of snow. This is the arrangement I generally do on this coffee table. I have this sleigh. I just put some um, fake, fake poinsettias in. I just think it's cute. And it's low enough that you can put that big, big tall thing on it. It doesn't make a difference. I put some fake holly garlands on top of my piano. I don't like to put a lot of stuff on top of my piano because it affects the sound. Um, and then over here, I have this red table runner, which also I will leave out through most of the winter. And then I have my three wise men. 
and some poinsettia candles. And let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on my wise men. I've had those for about seven years now. And I got them at a store that went out of business, and I can't for the life of me remember what the name of the store was. But I have some fake greenery behind them just to kind of fill up the space. And on our bar, I just have a couple of my um, reindeer, what are we calling those, candle holders that I got Pottery Barn forever ago. Sorry about the lighting. And then that little candle. Um, and then over here behind the couch next to the console table, I have these big reindeer candle holders, except I don't put candles in them because I have them on the floor and that would be a fire hazard. They were also from Pottery Barn at the same time. It was a long time ago. I doubt they carry them anymore, but I put little tiny ornaments where the candles, I guess, would go. Um, so I just, I think that looks kind of cute. That's a nice festive touch to the floor. And this is one of the ornaments I got at the Chris Kindle market a couple of years ago. I love this ornament. It's really big, so I have it on this special stand, and you can see through it, which I think is so cute. I just love it. Um, and a couple of candles. And that is the front part of our first floor. Now, of course, I have... Oh, something bad happened to my ribbon. Of course, I have a wreath, uh, another wreath I assembled a long, long time ago. Um, my ribbon got a little smushed on our coat closet door, a little snoopy. And here in my powder room, I really just change out the candles and the towels. So you can see I put festive towels up. I got those at Kohl's a long time ago. A little basket of potpourri, another festive towel. Those are little candles in the shapes of ornaments. I've had them for a long time and they're starting to lose their shape because I burn them every year when we have a party. Uh, so I'll have to replace those eventually. And then another candle that I never light. I never light candles like right by tissues or anything. And just some extraneous ornaments. And walk out of there. And try not to make you dizzy. <laughs> Go into our family room and kitchen. Um, yes, I think we'll end up in the family room. So let's start in the kitchen. Here in the kitchen, I have another... Oops, I forgot to turn this on. This is actually on a timer, this wreath. Um, it's battery operated and it lights up. And I love having a lit wreath that doesn't require being plugged in in the house. And I just have it on the door to my pantry. And I just, I think it's so cute. I got that at front gate. Maybe even just last year. Then, of course, I have holiday linens. You can see all my holiday towels out. Um, holiday pot holders. I just got that Christmas tree one this year, but the gingerbread ones and the stripy ones I've had for many years. And I even have a holiday tea pot that I got at Lennox a long time ago, but I think they still have it. I got this little guy at Pier 1 one or two years ago. He's a little spoon nest. And I think I tweeted about this. I bought this at Target this year on sale. Um, this little cookie jar, which I think is sweet. I have a water pitcher because we had a lot of parties so I just had it out. Um, I have pine, what is it? Yeah, Iowa pine scent dish soap. Myers is my favorite dish soap and I just love how they have the holiday scent. And then my absolute favorite from Bath and Body Works this year is the apple wreath soap um, for Christmas. This was one of my little advent gifts from Dawn. It's a little wine glass that's hand painted. It says, I still believe. Then I just got these this year, these coffee mugs, specifically to go on our coffee corner here. Um, I think they're really cute, <laughs> the little elves on them. And I have some holiday bowls and other holiday things. I have this little snowman mug here, and not with the other little snowman, which you'll see in a minute, because I like to use this. Um, I have either a little cup of eggnog or a little cup of hot chocolate like almost every night in December, <laughs> at least for the last couple of weeks, so I like to use that one. And I did swap out my china to put in my Lennox china. I don't believe they carry this print anymore. This is, um, and I, it's too bad because I really would like to buy some more. This is by Lennox and it is the Treasure Traditions Holly pattern. And I would like to get 
another set of plates, so I have them. And I did leave out one special snowman plate for me for cookies, um, because I'm five. But those are only out for December and like half of January, and then I'll swap back to my normal Villaroy and Bach. I have this tray here just corralling some cookies that need to be delivered to people. And I have my mixer out still because I'm still baking, <laughs> if one can believe it. No, I just have to make some spinach squares for my mom as an appetizer. And then I'm done with my baking. And then in this little corner, I always like to have festive napkins for the holidays. So I have those little penguin ones that match my little penguin um, cookie jar. Oh, and I forgot to show you, we have like a gajillion holiday mugs. Um, so I have some up there. You can see some little ones, some bigger ones. I have, I just got these this year, these peanuts glasses. And then these I inherited from my grandma who used to work for Avon. And they like, the little ornaments on the tree turn red when you put a cold beverage in them. So I have those too. Um, and just some little festive tchotchkes. That's a... I don't know, I think it's a Beanie Baby. And that's a salt and pepper shaker. And then I swapped out my little catch-all basket, which is like busting at the seams right now because I have a lot of stuff to sort and put away, to a tartan plaid one. And then here, this is the gingerbread house I made during my hol family holiday party last weekend. Um, you know, I had this year we did gingerbread house decorating, which was so much fun. So that's fine. I'm displaying it there. And I just have a couple of these little gingerbread house tins out, and they have some of my cookies in them that I baked. Um, here, I'll show you the back of my little gingerbread house. Pretty cute. I thought that was pretty good for my first attempt. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have my little Victoria's Secret Santa hat, which I will wear when I'm opening presents as every year. And I just tend to get kind of chilly. Um, and this is my seat where I'm like eat lunch and breakfast and stuff. So I have this little fleece here, and actually I got this at Disney World last year during the holidays. So you can see it's got Mickey with a Santa hat on it. So I just basically kind of leave that. And down here, are all the letters you guys have sent me for the holidays for my holiday card exchange, I have them all shoved into that bit bag, and then. My cards that I'm going to be sending out, I haven't even sent out any yet. I've been so busy, but I'm hoping to do some tonight and tomorrow and then definitely when I'm in Utah. So if you send me a card, please be patient. I will get back to you. I want to be able to read them all and write you guys a little something. I don't want to just send everybody a generic card. And I did, I did actually get some gifts from you guys. Please don't feel like you have to send me gifts, but it's very sweet. And thank you. And you will be receiving thank you notes from me. Uh, I swapped out my plates I had up for Thanksgiving to be these Christmas ones. I collect the Williams Sonoma plates that they release every year. The little, I don't know if we call those dessert plates or what. Um, those are from previous years. This one, this set was from this year. When I ever get to build my own house or kitchen, I'm going to have so many glass cabinets that can house all of my huge collection of Christmas decor. <laughs> Here's what my table looks like on an everyday basis during the month of December. I have these points set of placemats, which I love. That plant was a gift from my landscape guy. And I have these little Lennox salt and pe pepper shakers that I've had since 2004, I think was the year that Lennox did all the Peanuts special stuff. The Peanuts gang is, you know, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and etc. And I actually, every year, swap out all of my teacups in my little teacup corner cabinet here and put in all of my um, Christmas and holiday mugs, which I collect every year, like I said, from William Sonoma and some others that I've gotten from other places over the years. Um, I'll just open this up to show you. Um, my little teapot, snowman teapot. You can see I even have some William Sonoma ornaments from previous years. These are the new mugs for this year. Um, with the plates behind them. Yeah, these are all Williams Sonoma now that I'm looking at them. That sugar and creamer down there is not Williams Sonoma. I think I got those at like Hallmark or something a long time ago. But I just think it looks so cute and just makes me so happy to see it. And I have so many other mugs that I don't end up having to use these. But when I used to have my holiday family party a long time ago, I would serve... Um, you know, hot chocolate, mold cider, eggnog, and stuff in those. But now I have so many extra that I don't need to take them out of the cabinet. 
And then I have my Lennox uh, Snoopy on top of his doghouse cookie jar, which I don't use because I really want it to last me my whole lifetime and be like a, an heirloom for my children, so it just stays very much out of the way. And little Santa tiny tapers from William Sonoma, and these little gingerbread cook, uh, candles were a gift from Dawn one Christmas. And I'd never light them because I think they're so cute. I just put them out every year. Um, so that's that. You can see Winnie's window uh, back patio dog bed has a Santa in it. <laughs> All of her holiday dog toys are out. And on this, I did swap out the pictures and stuff I usually have on this and made a little snowman central here. I love little snowman platters and mugs and things. Um, my sister-in-law gave me this as a hostess gift this Thanksgiving. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. And then those other mugs, like I showed you earlier, I just put three of them up here so I can use one. And then, and then, and then we get to my um, family room, which is the last part. Uh, so you can see my tree, which I showed in one of my videos, trimming the tree video. Um, this is what it looks like from this angle. I swap out all my pillows and bring in different blankets and stuff. Here, I'll just take you through all the components. My back side, my back sofa side tape. I don't know what to call this. It's like two consoles pushed together. I have this runner from Crate and Barrel Forever Ago. Of course, I have festive candy. Another little Lennox Snoopy piece. Um, Oh, I love this snow globe. This is from Martha Stewart. So it actually has an on switch, so you can, it like pushes the snow around itself. You don't have to shake it. You have to wind it up to play the music, but isn't it cute? And the little light, can you guys see the little lights in there? This is from the Martha Stewart collection from Macy's forever ago. I don't even know if she has a holiday collection anymore, but. Then I have some more little candies and picture frames and things. We'll let that thing play its music. Then over here on this console table, I have so many console tables, I have my little advent calendar, which I got at Restoration Hardware about seven years ago. I'm not certain they carry it anymore. It's got these little doors, and basically I put in one of my little miniature Hallmark um, peanuts ornaments, and then I hang one every day, and I also put like a truffle in, so I get a little treat every morning. Um, and I collect these little ornaments every year. And I have yet another Lennox piece. I bought every one that they released that year. Um, and it, this has a little light that goes in it, but I ran out of light bulbs, so normally it would be lit up. So that's what's over there. Then we'll walk this way so you can see. I'll give you a closer look at my tree when um, I show you guys at night. Uh, above our television, I have some little Martha Stewart houses, again, from forever ago. Um, I really don't think they carry them anymore. And then I have these little Santa candles hanging out on our speakers. I bought those at Pottery Barn last year. And our mantle, of course, is decked out. That's just one garland that I bought, already lit like that, from Target maybe four or five years ago. And here are our stockings. They're from Pottery Barn. You can still get them. I know that for sure. And then our stocking holders have... Um, there's Winnie is a baby. That was her first Christmas. Our stocking holders have our names and pictures in them. And I did swap out my candles uh, on the um, mantel place. I put those out every year. You can see in my fancy coffee table, you can put things like in the glass. I have these two wreaths. And I will leave those out for much of the winter. And I actually just got some battery operated timed like mini lights so I might next year light those and have them you know turn on at night. Um, here's our little sofa all transformed. You can see I have a lot of little stuffed animal friends for Christmas. Um, I swapped out our pillows and I put out our Christmas quilt over there and um, oh I just got this this year. This is new. I got this from Target. This is the nicest blanket ever. It's Sherpa kind of feeling on one side and this very soft, smooth fabric on the other. So I leave it there for Winnie, you know, as her like little under the couch blanket. 
But then when we're watching a movie, we'll like cuddle up under it. And, oh, it's just really warm and toasty. And then over here, another little friend. And here's where I have all of my holiday movies in, in this little plaid um, <laughs> basket. That's the right word. And then on this console table, I have my little Nutcracker collection. Everything's little. Did you notice that? I keep saying that. I don't know why. Um, this one, I actually got at the Nutcracker the first time Don took me to the Joffrey's Ballet's Nutcracker was uh, December 21st, 2007. So I bought that then. And then this year they started releasing new Nutcrackers. Um, with the plaque already on them. So I got a new Nutcracker this year because I thought he was just a little different and kind of fancy. And this little tree is from a kit that I painted myself, um, like when I was 12, but I still have it. <laughs> and let's see, what else can I show you? We're wrapping up here. Oh, I have these little sparkly reindeer flanking my um, fireplace, which I got, I believe I got those at Pier 1 several years ago. And I guess the last thing I'll show you guys oh, is over here. It's Winnie's Holiday Toys. You can kind of see um, the Christmas V ones kind of stand out. She's got quite a bit, but they'll go away after Christmas is done. And then on this little sofa side table, I always get the different whatever holiday flavored or holiday colored um, M&M's they have in, in all the flavors. So this year it was mint, peanut butter, dark, and milk chocolate. And I used the dark and milk chocolate to bake with. That's why they're almost all gone. But um, I'll freeze these and use them next year because I bought them new this year. I have my Charlie Brown Christmas game, my Char um, Peanuts Uno game. And these are just some little dancing Snoopies. Oh no, he doesn't dance. He lights up. Well, while he's still saying, I'll just show you that Kleenex came out with these really cute Kleenex boxes this year. I always buy decorative Kleenex, and I like them so much I bought a lot, so I have enough for next year, too. Let's see what this does. Do you dance? Oh, he's out of batteries. Oh, well, I'll show you guys next year. I can't show you this year because he's not working. But, um, yeah, that's, that's it. I'm going to come back and show you at night, and then I will show you... Um, a little bit of our room at night too because I do have a little tree and some lights in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll show you the trees and stuff at night. Just wanted to show you guys what our tree looks like at night. The star at the top is still out which is bothering me but maybe I'll fix it one of these days. I just think it's magical when you have your tree on and it's dark. And there you can see how our little mantle glows. And I don't know if you guys can tell, I'll try to zoom in, but my little homemade Christmas tree there is all lit up. And here's our living room tree, all lit up. And I'm going to give you a closer look because I didn't really get in close earlier. You can see it's chock a block full with ornaments. So many ornaments. <laughs> Next year I'm going to put some of the ornaments on a, another tree that I bought, but I have to string with lights. Um, but I haven't had time to do it this year, so that'll be a project for next year. I'm going to string my own fake tree with lights. But there you get kind of an idea of what the tree looks like in our living room. And of course the garlands going up the stairs while I have the lights on, but they're really pretty too. So I just decided to show you my our room real fast um, because why not? <laughs> it's mostly clean. Uh, you can see straight ahead. Well, I'll show you that last, but that's our little tree. I strung up these little um, pine cone lights into this garland, which I've hung on our bed every year, but I never thought to put lights on it. And I did, and I think they look really cute, and it looks really neat when all the lights are off. Um, I switched out my shams to be these Christmassy ones, which I got from Pottery Barn. And then kind of got a lot of stuff from Disney World because we went to Disney in December last year and I got a lot of Christmassy things. So you can see there's a lot of Mickey Mouse stuff around um, here and there. These little 
Mickey and Minnie stockings and a little tin. I have these peppermint candles from Williams Sonoma that I put out every year. This little guy is cute. Don gave me this one year. You push his button and he tells a story. And well, here I'll show you. He rocks himself. And he's reading to Piglet. Isn't that cute? We joke that Don is Winnie the Pooh and I am Piglet because I'm the small animal entirely surrounded by anxiety. And he's the calm, bumbling bear. Isn't that cute? But Don reads me stories a lot, which might sound ridiculous for a 28-year-old, but I just love being read to you like five-year-old. I don't know how long he goes on for. Oh, look, Piglet moves too. I just noticed that. Oh, I think that's it. There. Oh, and then, then it ends. Um, <laughs> and then speaking of stories, I collect children's books, and I love Christmas book, children's books. So these are my collection. I keep them in storage now, I've decided. They take up a lot of room in my bookshelf to only read one time a year. So I found these bins at Target, but they don't quite fit, so I don't know if that's actually the solution. Then I have a Mickey and Minnie, a bigger version. I got a lot of animals when we were there last December. And this was a gift from some family friends this year. It's a beautiful blanket, like a hearth side Mickey and friends blanket. We'll come back to the tree. And these were more friends that I got last year. Eeyore and Winnie the Pooh. Oh my gosh, I am like five, literally. And this is my little Mickey Santa hat. You can see even Winnie has a little Pluto on top of her, her spot. And we have these little plush ornaments hanging by each of our bed. I have Minnie and Winnie and Mickey. Has, no, Don has Mickey. <laughs> and Albert the Owl is wearing my Christmas Queen crown. <laughs> he doesn't mind. And lastly, my tree. Isn't it cute? So Don surprised me when we were there last December. You can, like, call... I guess they're florists there and they can decorate your room. And I have some pictures, if I can find them, I'll, I'll insert them, you know, like in the side here. But he had them decorate our room for Christmas with this personalized tree skirt and the cutest tree you've ever seen. And the personalized topper is a Mickey hat. And it's even got this one little ornament that twirls. I mean, the ornaments are just precious. They are so cute, and uh, we had this shipped home because I wanted to be able to use it from year to year. He paid for it. You know, it was ours. I'm just trying to give you a look. These are those ornaments that when you pull them, their little legs move. <laughs> Got Mickey and Minnie. Let's see if I can find her little... There. I don't want to, like, pull the whole tree down, but I just... I love this, and it's so cute. And for all the lit things in our room, which is only two things right now, you know, it's the garlands and that tree. I have them set up to a remote control um, outlet. And so I can, it's actually two different outlets. This thing came with two, three like outlet pieces. And then you can turn them on or off. See, it's off and on from the remote. So I don't have to get out of bed and we can have the tree on and it's really nice. And these lights are really pretty and romantic. So. That's kind of nice. And I guess I'll just take you in real fast to my bathroom. Sorry about the blurriness. I'm running my bath. Um, but I did talk about this, I think on Facebook or Twitter. This is how I solved my lush holiday overflow storage problem. I just got these pretty snowflake containers from the containers. I actually had a few already, and so I just added to the um, bunch. So I had plenty to store all of my extras in. And I've actually gone through quite a bit of my uh, holiday stash already. So it's really going down. And then I, I bought those tins, those stacked tins in the middle there to put the... Uh, so those are all bath bombs. And then up there, those are all um, bath melts and bubble bars, specifically from the holiday collection. And I have two extra candles. Yeah, I have my gingerbread candles burning right now. 
um, in their little gingerbread candle holders, sleeves, I mean, but I, sometimes it's a little too sweet, so I have these cinnamon and clove as backup option. I just keep those there. And a little holiday nightlight. Anyway, and I put that little, that little um, thing in that corner was also part of the decorations from when Dawn had the, I'll turn that off now, room decorated for Christmas at our, our hotel room in Disney World. Um, and it came like that, and I just take that buried garland off when it's not Christmas, and I store it, and I put it on when it is. But that thing lives at the corner of our bath year-round. And that, my friends, is our holiday decorations in our own room and bathroom. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. You can see we go all out for the holidays. I know I decorated a lot for Halloween and for Thanksgiving, but I really have a ton of Christmas decorations and I just love the way it makes the house feel so cozy and charming and I it just suits my personality and you know Don, Don doesn't even really notice he's, he's got, he thinks about way more complicated things than I ever do but um, he, you know, he enjoys it too. It's, it's a real, it makes it a very homey cozy Christmas so I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are enjoying your holidays no matter what you celebrate. Even if you're just celebrating, you know, the end of the year and the beginning of a new year, happy holidays to you. Uh, from my home to yours. And um, I'll be back with lots of new fun projects in the new year. So stay tuned. I will see you guys real soon. Happy holidays. Bye. Take care.